Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's February 23rd of 2024. So I wanted to share this dream that I had uh, this morning before I woke up with you guys. I find it to be exceedingly encouraging. Um, the Lord is showing something here about Mike Tyson. Okay, so the dream starts off and Mike Tyson is looking at my motorcycle. Now, okay, so... Let me just let me just tell you. Anytime the Lord gives me dreams with my motorcycle, um, uh, big diesel pickup trucks with racing fuel inside of it, He's giving me dreams with semis with locomotive engines and fast cars and things like this. And um, it's always symbolic of my ministry. Okay, and I know that I'm going to have a very powerful ministry during the Great Tribulation. The Lord has showed it to me time and time again. So I believe that this uh, this dream is going to be uh, something that's either going to happen now or I, th I believe that this dream c could actually come to fruition before the Great Tribulation. I'm not exactly sure, but let me, now let me just go tell you the dream. I'm sorry. Okay, so in the dream, is my there's my motorcycle. And... Um, Mike Tyson is there and he's looking at my motorcycle and he's admiring it. He really likes it. And he goes and he sits on the side of the seat. And I advise him that that is not a good thing to do. You don't sit on the side of the bike, I said, because it could easily tipped over. So I straddled over the seat. I grabbed the handlebars and I showed him the proper way to sit on the bike. I showed him the proper way to get on the bike and to sit on the bike. And then um, I asked him, you know, do you know how to start the bike? So then he, he got on the bike. He sat on the bike. I said, now, do you know how to start it? And so, you know, I said, let me just start. Let me just show you from the very beginning on how you start the bike, you know, because. And so I went through the procedure on exactly how to start the bike. He was very, very interested. He was very uh, much wanting to know about this bike and, and how to ride it and uh, everything. And I told him, I said, well, I'm getting a bigger bike. That's what I told him. I said, I'm, I'm going to, basically I was going to get rid of that bike. I didn't say I was going to get rid of that bag, but I said, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get a bigger one is what I said. That's all there was to the dream. And this is showing that Mike Tyson is going to get on board. He's going to come back to the Lord. He's going to come back to Christianity. Now he was raised in a Christian house. That doesn't mean he was a Christian. Okay. You can be raised in a Christian house, but yet still not ever have had a personal relationship with God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. But this dream is showing that He is going to get on board. He, that He is uh, either He has an interest to get back with the Lord now, or He is going to have this interest later on during the Great Tribulation. Okay? Uh, but regardless he's going to be taught. He's going to, he's going, his heart is going to change. He's going to come back to the Lord and he will be taught the correct way on how he is to start having his relationship with God, the father through his son, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's a beautiful, encouraging dream. Uh, you could go back, uh, some years back through my videos and you will see, I had a dream with Hulk Hogan. And now you see that Hulk Hogan has come to Jesus Christ. Um, he was always born. He was always a Southern Baptist, but he never had a relationship with God the Father. He just got baptized. He just started uh, proclaiming Jesus Christ, and he's 70 years old. So, um, you know, God is good, and he's very faithful, and he endures us. You know, uh, some at some point in time, many people, they just pass away without receiving God the Father through his son, Jesus Christ. But many times... God endures us and he's patient with us, waiting for us to come to him. But there's some people, of course, he knows that never will. He endured me. He, he was patient with me until, until huh, I finally took the hands off my steering wheel and just allowed God the Father to, you know, get me right. He sent his son to me and showed me where I was sending myself straight to hell. If I didn't let Jesus control my life and direct me, Way, the way I should go so it was, that was a that was a dream I had the very first video I ever put up on my channel if you're new to my channel go watch it 
the very first uh, dream I, I ever shared on my channel. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> that was the best dream I ever had. It got me walking on the straight and narrow path. But anyway, all glory to God. All glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ, His Son, because Mike Tyson will come to the Lord. He will come back to the Lord. I say come back, but like I said, uh, that doesn't mean he was ever right with the Lord just because he was raised in a Christian home. Uh, but he is definitely going to have an interest. His heart is going to change. And he is going to come to God the Father through his son, Jesus Christ. Whether it be now or during the Great Tribulation, I am not aware of that information. I don't know. I wasn't told that. But it will happen. And all glory to God for that. In Jesus' name. So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals in this day.